Good morning. This is Steve Clemens, Vice President of Life Markets with URL. Thank you all for joining me this morning. In regards to our Life Insurance for Digital Age uh, product uh, launch, uh, we're very excited about this product, and we'll, uh, we'll get right to it today. So give you information on the plan, uh, show you the process, and hopefully be in and out in this meeting within about 30 to 40 minutes maximum. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Um, this product is, again, a, a term life plan, and it's issued from 100000 100, to half a million dollars. Uh, it is an efficient, clean, paperless process. So um, let's uh, dig right in here. Uh, before we do, uh, for those unfamiliar or haven't worked with URL in the past, I wanted to provide our website where you can get more information. And our website address is URL insgroup.com and if you're currently not working with us you can use the temporary username and password at the top to log into our website and gain access to product information and more information about URL and what we do. Uh, the temporary username you would put in where it asks for email that will be the word people and the password is business both in lowercase letters. Uh, URL is a full service broker we've been in business for over 30 years now helping agents and agencies for their life insurance, annuity, employee benefit, Medicare, and health insurance needs. So E-Term Express is the product. Uh, this is a non-med term life policy issued by Fidelity Life uh, Association. Many of you may be familiar with Fidelity, may be appointed with Fidelity, but this is a new product that would not be on existing contracts. It is a fairly exclusive product portfolio that uh, we will be launching here at the end of July. It is not available today to go out and write, but end of July the product will launch and be available. So you are getting in on the ground floor here today learning about the product. Uh, Fidelity Life is an A minus excellent rating by AM Best. The product's minimum is $100,000. The maximum is half a million dollars for clients up to age 50. For clients who are ages 51 to 65, it's a $350,000 maximum amount. We will do a 10, a 15, a 20, and a 30-year level term plan. There's three rate classes, a preferred, a standard, and tobacco rates. The product is available in all states except Maine, Montana, New York, Vermont, and Wyoming. This is an agent-assisted online application. This is not an application process where the client's going to go onto uh, the web themselves and complete everything. It is agent-assisted. The policy is issued in minutes, not days, weeks, or months. It's issued immediately. It does have competitive rates and competitive compensation for agents and agencies alike. And again, the launch date is July 28th on the product. I'm not going to go into greater details on term. Uh, the term is non-convertible. Uh, it is not for replacement business. It's for new business. And the policy fee is fully commissionable as well. Those are general questions that we usually get on the plan. Here's a sample quote for a 40-year-old. Now, when you run a quote, you can run a quote right on the website very easily and efficiently. And when you do that, it's going to give you the 10 through 30-year terms up to the maximum amount available, in this case on a 40-year-old, half a million dollars. As you can see, every rate is right there when you quote it. Very easily laid out for you and for your clients to see. But let's compare that to other non-med products on the market. Now, when I say non-med, that doesn't mean it's guarantee issue. Non-med is still underwritten, just not with blood, urine, paramed. So when we look at other products that are issued without blood, urine, paramed, you're going to see on this spreadsheet of other top carriers in the marketplace how well the E-Term Express product fares in the market. Looking at that 40-year-old, 100,000, 20-year term, we're at 2271 a month at their preferred category and at 2784 at their standard category. 
and looking at that, it fares very favorably with the marketplace in non-medical um, issued term. And again, this E-Term Express product is issued in minutes and not days in comparison to other non-med products. Now you might say, Steve, let's compare it to a medically underwritten product. You know, so uh, what is my client going to pay in addition for that level, for that ease of service? Uh, well, I took the same 40-year-old male non-nicotine, went on to URL's quote engine on our website, and I compared this product to a standard plus rate class. Um, not the preferred, not the standard, but the top standard plus rate classes uh, in the marketplace. So those came in between $18, 18 19 21 and $24 a month, depending on the medically underwritten carrier, in comparison to $22 a month and change. So only a couple dollars difference for a convenience where a client is going to take about a half hour with you on the phone or in person and have something issued right there on the spot. Very quick, very effective, and again, issued in minutes, and in this case, not a month or longer. So let's go through the process of quoting the application and then issuing of the policy. Again, it's gonna take 20 to 30 minutes uh, of you uh, completing an e-app and Without further ado, let's take a quick peek at that. Bear with me one moment. Here we go. Okay, we went through that. When you go to the website uh, to complete a online application, you on agents at the top of the site. Um, you can certainly click for a, a quick quote and do the quote that we just provided, but let's skip to agents and click on agent log. You're going to simply plug in your agent code and your password, and here it will take you to your home screen. You can start a new application. If you started an application and saved it, you can do that and uh, view your agent reports as well right there. So we're going to get information on the client, uh, the state of residence, date of birth, everything to provide the quote, and only the states where your active license is if you only have a contract in Pennsylvania, then your state of residence will show there. If you have 10 or 15 or 20 or 40 states uh, non-resident appointments will show all those carry all those states as well. So go through this. Um, if you do need any additional information, if you're if you need any additional information on the product or information at all, you can click on the little I, and it'll give you additional information as to how to answer the question. So in this case, tobacco use. If the client used any tobacco in the last 12 months, then you would answer yes. So very easy. If you see a red flag here, then obviously you forgot to select something. Uh, if you're familiar with eApps and you've done eApps in the past through iGo or other sites, uh, it's very similar. You can get product information by clicking on product guide and uh, get anything you need right at your fingertips on the eApp. So again, the quote is provided, so you select the quote you want and the mode of premium, and you click Next. So for eligibility, very simple questions. Are you a U.S. citizen? Are you currently employed? A policy can be issued um, if the client is currently not employed. Um, eligibility also on types of occupations. Here are a list of occupations where the eLife product, eTerm Express, is not available. Also they want to know annual income. 
and you will check off the client's annual income. Now, if your client has existing life insurance, they can certainly get this product, but as I mentioned before, this is not to replace any existing life insurance in place. So this product and this process are not developed for replacement. So yes, we have existing insurance. No, we are not replacing. And you many times here on the last question, later in this application, you will need to sign a notice entitled Important Replacement of Life Insurance or Annuities. Would you like this notice to be read out loud to you now? You can click yes or no here. If they click yes, you read the statement. So again, they just want to confirm existing insurance. Yes, they have it. No, they're not replacing. Go on to the next page. This is a confirmation page just to make sure that you put in the date of birth correctly, the client's gender, tobacco usage, state of residence, and they're a U.S. citizen, and what they're applying for gives them the amount of insurance, the 300000 20 year for $53.33. Now you put in the client's name, their phone number, an alternate phone number if needed, email address, their street address, their zip code. Just confirming that information, click Next. Health and lifestyle questions. These are your six knockout questions. Is your client does your client have AIDS in the past five years? Have they been advised uh, by the medical profession to have any hospitalization, surgery, or medical tests that they've not yet done? Uh, have they in the past two years consulted a medical professional for treatment for cancer, heart attack, stroke, or TIA? In the past two years, have they seek treatment for illegal drugs, alcohol, prescription, prescription drugs? Uh, last two years, have their driver's license been suspended, revoked, or convicted of reckless driving or DUI or under the influence of drugs? And past two years, have they been convicted or pleaded guilty to a criminal proceeding? So no, no, no. Then uh, we got through the knockout questions. Height and weight, you plug in their height and weight. And a couple more questions about their health and lifestyle. Cancer history, coronary artery disorder, stroke, TIA history, uh, any other in the past 10 years, have they had elevated blood pressure? If this is yes, then you put in the information. If they're on a prescribed medication to control hypertension, that would go in there. Kidney, liver disorder, diabetes, seizures, MS. Any asthma, COPD, other respiratory disorder, use of illegal drugs or prescription drugs. Anxiety, depression, other mental, pancreatitis, hepatitis. Um, family history and avocations. They want to know about mom, dad, brother, sister, if they died from cancer, diabetes, or heart disease before age 60. Uh, are they doing aviation, private aviation, uh, other, other avocations like motor racing, mountain, mountain climbing, rock ice climbing, hang gliding, scuba, skydiving, etc. Uh, this is an important question regarding if they've consulted a physician in the last five years. Now, if your client is over 50 and they have not consulted a physician in the past five years, uh, that could cause an issue with getting uh, coverage. They're most likely not going to get a preferred rate, but they may still qualify for a standard rate. So details would be needed, obviously, if they've not seen a physician in the last five years if, and if they're over 50. Put in the beneficiaries. You can do any kind of percentage you want. Uh, it gives you a drop-down list of relations uh, to uh, the to the insured. Uh, business partner is one. We do get the question: Is this available for a buy-sell agreement or business life insurance? So it would be. 
and obviously the total beneficiaries have to equal 100 percent so if the wife here is getting 70 percent then obviously we need to add a beneficiary for the additional 30 or add beneficiaries for the additional 30 percent you can add a contingent beneficiary if they care to and click in the driver's license information the state um, and also choose a personal question and answer uh, this will be for their password so they will choose one of these options here in this case what is your mother's maiden name they're choosing and they put in the answer of Pitt so this will help upon signature of the application click proceed uh, we have the monthly payment of 5333 now we need to know if they want to uh, pay for that via a credit or debit card or a checking or savings account so if they're going to choose the credit debit card they put in that information and it is it is good to know that they are not charging the client at this time the credit card or the bank will only be charged or or drafted uh, when the policy has been approved and ready to issue so the policy obviously has to be approved by the client before they're going to uh, debit the credit card agent declaration to the best of your knowledge is this information true and accurate we're saying yes um, now here's here's uh, the end of the application process it'll say thanks Clark is the agent please hand over this application to Johnny your client so you have two ways now if you're sitting with your client and they're there with you in your office or you on your laptop you're going to hand over the keys for them to e-sign the policy if you're doing this non face to face you're going to send an email to your client here Johnny cash Johnny at cash com and click send the email so when Johnny gets into his email he's going to see this response from eLife solutions we've assessed your e-term express life insurance application submitted by your insurance agent and we're pleased to say your application is still on track you are as little as five minutes away from being insured if you qualify to complete your application go to the eLife website by clicking on the following link when you arrive at the eLife website just follow a few simple steps and you are done please note that this link will expire on X date if you have not returned to the eLife website by this date the link will be deactivated and you will need to reapply so Johnny will get this within seconds of the agent completing that and and clicking submit now while you're still on the phone with your client you can have your client go into his inbox he can then click on the link and it will take him to the eLife website it's going to ask him that same pass that same password that he re that he requested what is your mother's maiden name pit and he's going to log in gives him a welcome message and tells him what is going to happen next after he clicks your completed application for life insurance will be set out to the next screen for you to sign you'll type your name in which we will accept as your digital signature after you have signed we will assess your application to confirm that we can provide you coverage at the premium we initially quoted and if we can we will issue your policy right away click next so here uh, we're going to review the application we're going to click clients going to click continue and there's a little start tab where he's going to click start so gives him his information yep that's my date of birth that's my address um, that's my social security number it's my driver's license number that's the amount of insurance I'm applying for so his signature process is very easy step one is in bold red letters type the words I agree in this box 
I, Johnny Cash, I've reviewed the application. I've read and agreed the declaration agreement and authorization to release information. I authorize the payment as set out in the payment plan. I've read and agreed to the HIPAA authorization. I have reviewed the notice entitled replacement of life insurance and annuity. Types in I agree here and type in your name exactly as it appears above, Johnny Cash. Click finish. So once he does that, the green gear starts spinning. And while it's doing that, it's checking MIB, it's checking the pharmacy database, and the motor vehicle registry. This process generally takes 90 seconds or less, and it many times takes far less than that. So then there are four possible outcomes once that time happens. A, the policy is approved as applied. If that happens, the policy is instantly issued online and payment will be processed. B, the policy is approved other than applied for. And an automated online amendment process is initiated and the policy can still be instantly issued. C, the client's not eligible. And D, it requires review by a human underwriter, uh, which is a rarity uh, with the way this process is set up. So if A happens, it's approved. Johnny gets his congratulatory notice right away. We approved your application. The policy has been issued, and your life insurance is now in force. Here's a summary of your policy. Gives him the summary, the plan name, the type of coverage, the amount of coverage, the term length, the rate class he was approved at, and his premium. He can simply click download his policy and he will get a PDF copy of his policy. From there, then he can sign out and he is done. He will get a welcome letter from Fidelity with the E-Term Express policy. And he will also get a congratulatory email sent out to him that he has successfully purchased the E-Term Life Express policy with details on the information and agent is also uh, communicated to on that on that process as well. Option B is where the policy is approved other than applied for. Maybe we applied for preferred and the client came back standard. So your application for E-Term Express has been approved. However, based on the answers you provided, it was necessary to make the following changes. Changes from preferred to standard. As a result of these changes, your premiums have been revised from $53.33 a month to $68.73. Now, no one likes hearing that their premium just went up $16 or $15 a month. So on the next screen, you sh should you wish to do so, you'll have a final opportunity to adjust your insurance premiums by increasing or decreasing the amount of your insurance coverage. Please click click next to continue. So here they can choose to amend the insurance amount and the term in order to reduce the premium if they care to. So initially this is where we were at 300,000 20 year term and he was initially around $53 a month. So in this case Johnny said you know I don't want to pay 68 uh, but I'll pay 58 because I want 20 years and I want at least a quarter million dollars of insurance. So right there, next slide, just to confirm, 250,000 20 year is what you want. The new premium is 58, 51 a month. Next for a policy amendment, policy amendment is immediate. They click continue. And again, the I agree and type the name exactly in the box. Click finish. Congratulations, your policy has been issued and your life insurance policy is now in force. Again, they can download the policy. 
save it to their computer, print it out, whatever they want to do, and then sign out, and they're completed. They get the welcome letter again, sent out to them in the mail with the policy information, and a congratulatory email sent out to them. Agent is then sent an email letting them know that the policy has been issued, and it provides a summary of the policy details. So not eligible, they will let them know immediately as well that they are unable to complete this online questionnaire based on the information provided so far, not eligible for a policy under this insurance program. And then D is it's sent to an underwriter for a manual review. Based on what you've told us, we will need to manually look it over your application before we can make a final decision. In doing this, we may need to ask you a few more details about your health. We'll do our best to complete this step as quickly and easily as possible. And once we're done, we'll get back to you via email and let you know if, you, if we can offer insurance, and if so, on what terms. So again, client, agent are communicated to through the full process from, from, step, from start to finish. And that is the application in, in a nutshell. It, it's very simple. It's a very simple product. And you're going to find that when you go through that, that it is from quoting to submission of the app to completion of the app, it is going to take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to quote a client, to get the policy issued, and to get it in force. It is really that quick. When you look at the rates and how competitive they are in comparison to the other non-medical, no blood, no urine, no paramed products on the market, it is by far the most competitive product in that marketplace from a pricing standpoint and an efficiency standpoint. So. Very pleased with this. Again, the rollout date for anyone who came out came into this a little late is July 28th is when they will be ready to start taking new applications and issuing policies. It has been piloted uh, for a few weeks already. It has done a very good job, and uh, on July 28th it will be rolled out to, uh, to the community. So contracting, if it's something of interest to you uh, to look at the E-Term Express product, add it to your portfolio, um, if you, there's a few ways to do it. Because this is a policy that is underwritten through Fidelity, many of you may be familiar with Fidelity's products and say, I already have Fidelity. Um, this is not part of your old Fidelity contract if you have that. Uh, number one, if you're completely new, not licensed with Fidelity, it's just new contracting, very simple. If you're already licensed with Fidelity here at URL, all we need is a commission allocation form, the one-page form. Uh, we need that completed and then submitted so you can now offer this uh, proprietary E-Term Express product. If you're already licensed with Fidelity through another BGA, IMO organization, um, and they don't have access to E-Term Express, which is very possible. You can transfer your Fidelity Life contract to URL. Now, if you've written Fidelity in the last six months, that does require a release from that existing organization. Or if you've appointed in the last six months, even if you haven't written business, but you're newly appointed with Fidelity in the last six months, that would also require a release. The other thing is, if you're with another FMO, BGA, uh, who is not offering E-Term Express, you can offer the E-Term Express through URL and maintain the other product with Fidelity Life through that other organization. If you have any questions on contracting, you can contact Judy Warner here at URL. She's our life licensing expert. Uh, Judy's extension here at URL is extension 109. Her email is judyw at URL insgroup.com. 
If you're unfamiliar with the URL, we're a full service brokerage, not only for life, but the other markets. This is a snapshot of the carriers we represent. Again, if you came in late, you needed more information either on the E-Term Express product or URL in general, you can go to our website at urlinsgroup.com and you can use a temporary username and password of people and business both in lowercase letters. And on our website you can quote different life products, you can get forms and marketing information. Additional questions and support on this product, uh, you will want to reach out to the marketing staff here for Life Markets, which would be myself, Steve Clemens, Matt Alina, or Joey Fry. Any one of us three will be happy to assist you with any questions you have on the eTerm Express product. And for licensing, uh, there at the bottom, you'll want to speak to Judy Warner at extension 109, and her email is judyw at urlinsgroup.com. Now, we've added the eTerm Express product information to the website. So if you wanted to go through that application process in greater detail, we have it on our website, the PowerPoint. You can go through that. We have product information for the product and underwriting guide on the product on the website. And I'll take just a moment to show you where that is. So when you're on our website and our own homepage under the life markets under departments then under life markets if you go to product information under the term and permanent life carriers you'll see eTerm Express you can click on eTerm Express and the agent brochure is listed here the product and underwriting guide is listed here there's a short two-minute video on the process and the product uh, that you can view. And there is uh, an onboarding process PowerPoint slideshow uh, that you can also review, which is a PowerPoint. We will be doing future meetings on onboarding. So once you're appointed with the eTerm Express, how do you log into the website, uh, review uh, business, take the new application, everything else, and we can do that uh, as anyone who gets onboarded will be happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one and, and go through that process. So at the end of July, you have clients that are looking to utilize this, this product. Uh, you'll feel very comfortable with going in and taking your first application and getting something submitted and issued and placed within a half hour. If you have any questions, uh, I will take some questions now. If you can type them in the question box, you can raise your hand on the toolbar and we'll open that up for discussion. For anyone else, uh, that will conclu conclude today's meeting. If you do have any questions again, please certainly reach out to one of us here. Our phone number and our extensions and our emails are all right here. I appreciate your time today. Tried to keep it to a half hour in mind of your time and again it's that easy and we look forward to helping you out with this uh, eTerm Express product. Thank you.